It's time to wake up, America, but fear not, as it says in Isaiah 55, 7, and it is written, Do I desire at all that the wicked should die, says the Lord God? It is rather that he return from his ways and live. Zechariah chapter 1, starting with verse 1. In the eighth month in the second year of Darius, the word of the Lord came to Zechariah, son of Berechiah, son of Edu, the prophet, saying, The Lord was wroth with your fathers, for they provoked him. And you shall say to them, So said the Lord of hosts, Return to me, said the Lord of hosts, and I will return to you, said the Lord of hosts. Be not like your fathers, to whom the early prophets called, saying, So said the Lord of hosts, Return now from your evil ways and your evil deeds. But they neither obeyed nor hearkened to me, said the Lord. As for your fathers, where are they? But the prophets do, they live forever? But my words and my decrees that I commanded my servants, the prophets, did they not overtake your fathers? And they returned and said, As the Lord of hosts planned to do to us according to our ways and according to our deeds, so he did to us. And Zechariah chapter 12, starting with verse 9. But I will be, for it says the Lord, a wall of fire around for glory. I will be in its midst. Ho, ho, flee from the land of the north, says the Lord, for I have spread you as, as the four corners of the heavens, says the Lord. Ho, Zion, flee, she who sits among the nations of Babylon. For so said the Lord of hosts after glory, he sent me to the nations that plunder you, for whoever touches you touches the apple of his eye. For behold, I raise my hand over them, and they shall be prey for those who serve them. And you shall know that the Lord of hosts sent me. Sing and rejoice, O daughter of Zion, for behold, I will come and dwell in your midst, says the Lord. And many nations shall join the Lord on that day, and they shall be my people. And I will dwell in your midst, and you shall know that the Lord of hosts sent me to you. And the Lord shall inherit Judah as his share on the holy land. And he shall again choose Jerusalem. Silence all flesh from before the Lord, for he is aroused out of his holy habitation. Zechariah chapter 12, beginning with verse 1. The prophecy of the word of the Lord concerning Israel, says the Lord, who stretches out the heavens and founds the earth and formed the spirit of man within him. Behold, I am making Jerusalem a cup of weakness for all the peoples around, and also on Judah, that he shall be in the siege against Jerusalem. And it shall come to pass on that day that I will make Jerusalem a stone of burden for all people. All who bear it shall be gashed, and all the nations of the earth shall gather about it on that day says the lord i will smite every horse with bewilderment and its rider with madness and upon the house of judah i will open my eyes and all the horses of the peoples i will smite with blindness and the princes of judah shall say to themselves the inhabitants of jerusalem were my strength to the lord of hosts and their god on that day i will make the princes of judah as a fiery stove among the wood as a brand of fire among sheaves and they shall consume on the right and on the left all the nations round about. And Jerusalem shall still stay in its place in Jerusalem. And the Lord shall first save the tents of Judah, so that the boasting of the house of David and the boasting of the inhabitants of Jerusalem shall not increase over Judah. On that day the Lord shall protect the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and the weakest of them shall be on that day like David. And the house of David shall be like angels, like the angels of the Lord before them. And it shall come to pass on that day that I will seek to destroy all the nations that come upon Jerusalem. And I will pour out upon the house of David and upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem a spirit of grace and supplications. And they shall look to me because of those who have been thrust through with swords. And they shall mourn over it as one mourns over an only son and shall be in bitterness, therefore, as one is embittered over a firstborn son. Zechariah chapter 13, verse 1. On that day a spring shall be opened for the house of David and for the inhabitants of Jerusalem, for purification and for sprinkling. And it shall come to pass on that day, says the Lord of hosts, I will cut off the names of the idols from the earth, and they shall no longer be mentioned. 
and also the prophets and the spirits of contamination I will remove from the earth. Zechariah chapter 14, verse 1. Behold, the day of the Lord is coming, and your plunder shall be shared within you. And I will gather all the nations to Jerusalem to rage war. And the city shall be captured, and the houses shall be plundered, and the women shall be ravished, and half the city shall go forth into exile, and the rest of the people shall not be cut off from the city. And the Lord shall go forth and wage war with those nations, like the day he waged war on the day of the battle. And on that day his feet shall stand on Mount Olives, which is before Jerusalem, from the east, and from the Mount Olives shall split in the midst thereof toward the east and toward the west a very great valley and half of the mountain shall move to the north and half of the mountain to the south and you shall flee to the valley of the mountains for the valley of the mountains shall reach azal and you shall flee as you fled because of the earthquake in the days of Uzziah, the king of judah and the lord my god shall come all holy ones with you and it shall come to pass on that day that there shall be no light, only disappearing light and thick darkness. And it shall be one day that shall be known to the Lord neither day nor night. And it shall come to pass that at even time it shall be light. And it shall come to pass on that day that spring water shall come forth from Jerusalem, half of it to the eastern sea and half of it to the western sea. In summer and in winter it shall be. And the Lord shall become king over all the earth. On that day shall the Lord be one, and his name one. The whole earth shall be changed to be like a plain from the hill of Rimon in the south of Jerusalem. But in Jerusalem will be elevated high and remain in its old place. From the gate of Benjamin to the place of the first gate until the corner gate. And from the tower of the Hananel until the king's wine cellars. And they shall dwell therein, and there shall be no more destruction. But Jerusalem shall dwell safely. And in this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite all the nations who besiege Jerusalem. His flesh will waste away while he still stands on his feet. His eyes will waste away in their sockets. And his tongue shall waste away in his mouth. And it will come to pass on that day that there will be great consternation sent by the Lord upon them. Each one shall seize the hand of the other, and his hand shall rise up against the hand of the other. Yea, even Judah will fight against Jerusalem, and the wealth of all nations round about gold and silver and apparel will be gathered in very great abundance. And so will be the plague of the horses, the mules, the camels, the donkeys, and all the animals that are in those camps, similarly to this plague. And it will come to pass that every one left of the nations who came up against Jerusalem will go up from year to year to prostrate themselves to the king, the Lord of hosts, and to celebrate the festivals of tabernacles. And it shall be that whoever of all the families of the earth does not go up to Jerusalem to prostrate himself to the king, the Lord of hosts, upon them there shall be no rain. And if the family of Egypt does not go up and does not come, it shall not rain upon them. The plague on Egypt will be the same as that with which the Lord will plague the nations who do not go up to celebrate the festivals of tabernacle. Such will be the punishment of Egypt and the punishment of all nations who do not go up to celebrate the festival of tabernacles. On that day there will be upon the bells of the horses Holy to the Lord, and the pots in the house of the Lord will be like the sprinkling bowls before the altar. Yea, every pot in Jerusalem in Judah will be holy to the Lord of hosts. And all who sacrifice will come and take of them and cook in them, and there will no longer be a trafficker in the house of the Lord of hosts on that day. Jeremiah chapter 2 verse 27. They say to the wood, You are my father, and to the stone, You bore us. For they turned to me their nape, and not their face. And at that time of their misfortune, they say, Arise and save us. Now where are your gods that you have made for yourself? Let them get up, if they will save you, and at the time of your misfortune. For as many as your cities were your gods, O Judea, why should you strive with me? All of you have rebelled against me, says the Lord. Jeremiah chapter 10. Hearken to the word that the Lord spoke about you, O house of Israel, 
So says the Lord of the way of the nations you shall not learn, and from the signs of the heaven be not dismayed, for the nations are dismayed from them. For the statues of the peoples are vanity, for it is but a stock that one cut from the forest, the handiwork of a carpenter with a small axe, with silver and gold, he beautifies it with nails and with sledgehammers. They strengthen them so that it does not bend. Like a palm tree, they are beaten and they do not speak. They are carried, for they do not step. Fear them not, for they will do no harm. Neither is it in them to do good. There is none like you, O Lord. You are great, and your name is great with might. Who will not fear you, O King of the nations, for it benefits you? For among all the wise men of nations and among all their kingdoms there is none like you. But with one thing they are brutish and foolish. The vanities for which they will be punished are but wood, silver beaten into plates. It's bought from Tarshish and gold from Ophaz, the work of a craftsman and the hands of a smith. Their remnant is blue and purple, all of them the work of experts. But the Lord God is true. He is living God and the king of the world. From his anger the earth quakes, and the nations cannot contain his fury. So shall you say to them, The gods who did not make the heavens and the earth shall perish from the earth and from beneath these heavens. Who made the earth with his strength? He prepared the world by his wisdom, and with his understanding he stretched out the heavens.